Today, we will talk about how to get rid of ticks in the house fast. Let's have a look at the details. Ticks in your garden and around your home can be a nuisance. Ticks can carry numerous harmful blood-borne diseases such as Lyme disease and some diseases transferred from ticks can be deadly. The first step is removing ticks indoors. Declutter your home. Although ticks are found outdoors, indoor infestations of the brown dog tick are not uncommon. This kind of tick feeds on dogs and other animals and prefers warm, dry conditions. Wash dirty clothes in hot water. Ticks attach to dirty clothing or bed linens. Wash clothes or linens you suspect may be tick infected in the hottest water suitable for the fabric type. Clean your house thoroughly. The next step is to clean your entire home thoroughly from top to bottom. Clean out shelves, dust forgotten corners and sweep, mop, and vacuum all floors. Dust your home with pesticides. Once your house is cleaned and decluttered, and you have physically removed as many ticks as possible, you will need to use pesticides to kill any remaining ticks and their eggs. Treat indoor pets. Indoor pets, usually dogs, are the number one source of tick infestations. Dogs can carry ticks outdoors, or catch them from other animals in the kennel or the local neighborhood. Call an exterminator. Severe tick infestations may require a professional exterminator. They have specialized equipment and pesticides, which kill ticks immediately on contact. They also have an in-depth knowledge of ticks' habitats and behaviors, so they will be able to locate the ticks very quickly. The second step is removing ticks outdoors. Target the ticks' favorite habitations. Outdoor ticks can usually be found in grassy, bushy areas sheltered by trees and shade. They like high humidity. Cut back vegetation. An important step in keeping ticks away is to get rid of any tick-friendly foliage. The best way to do this is to keep your yard trimmed regularly and to remove all dead, scraggly, overgrown vegetation. Mow the grass frequently. Regular mowing deprives ticks of tall grass and lets the sun in this not only keeps the bugs at bay, but it also evaporates morning dew quickly, depriving ticks of water, too. Clear your yard of brush and dead leaves. If ticks cannot live in the grasses, they'll find shade elsewhere. Damp, dark brush and dead leaves especially dead leaves are tick heaven. Don't allow piles of vegetation to build anywhere in your yard. Use a pesticide. Use approved known safe pesticides in late spring to early summer, to prevent ticks from populating your lawn. A single treatment of your yard in late May or early June can reduce the tick population by over 50%. The third step is preventing ticks. Fence your yard. Fencing your yard will prevent larger animals, such as deer or coyotes, from passing through your backyard. Keep firewood stacked neatly and in a dry location. Like brush and dead leaves, firewood holds darkness and moisture. Keeping it stacked in a dry location denies ticks of their safe haven and it will keep your firewood nice and dry when it's time to use it next winter. Don't let kids play in known tick areas. Make sure they play in areas that are located well away from high grasses or trees. If the swing set has grass growing around the legs of the set, get that weed whacker over there and start trimming. Clean thoroughly underneath bird feeders. Ticks can nest under feeders undisturbed by cleaning regularly which makes it undesirable for them. Check yourself for ticks. Regularly check yourself, your children, and your pets, especially after playing or hiking outdoors. Make a natural tick repellent. You can make a non-toxic tick repellent at home. Get a 16 ounce, 475 milliliters, spray bottle and start spraying. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.